Colorado Center for the Blind. Take charge with confidence and self-reliance. I'm Monique Melton. I'm the employment specialist here at the Colorado Center for the Blind. The speech class is designed to, it's another way to give people confidence. People are afraid to talk to people and in employment you never know when you're going to have to present yourself. The first time you present yourself is the interview and then you never know when you're going to have to do presentations at work or just anything may come up, going to networking events, anything may come up where you have to present yourself. And so we have students speak in public. They give a presentation to the staff and students here at the center. We're all here together and we're all trying to get through this program so we all just need to stick together, learn from each other, and just get advice from each other because like, I believe that's how the best way that we're all going to learn. At least that's the best way that I learned when I got here was by talking to some of the students who have been here for a while and knew what they were doing and they really helped me out. I think that um, practicing a sport has a lot of benefits. It teaches you um, how to be part of a team and um, how to contribute to that team. It gives you a sense of achievement because you have to train really hard and practice um, to be able to get better and better. And it also teaches you um, some social skills. And it uh, finally gives you the opportunity to just, you know, have fun and uh, feel that thrill that only, you know, winning a competition can give. I find that the most important thing uh, for me as a songwriter is that my songs have their own individual voice. Whatever style or genre I might be working in, I always want people to recognize my fingerprints on it. So I find that working with a collaborator kind of dilutes that. Um, now in terms of my process, uh, there's this question that people always ask, do you start with music first or do you start with lyrics first? And both are totally viable. Bob Dylan wrote a lot of his best songs uh, with the lyrics first. Uh, Paul McCartney is the opposite. He started out with music first most of the time. The whole song, Musically for Yesterday, came to him in a dream, and he started out with nonsense lyrics. It started out as, Scrambled eggs, how I learned to love your lady legs. And then he found regular, real lyrics for it instead. You want something different. You want something creative. Something full of flavor and variety. Well... One of the lesser known choices in global cuisine is, believe it or not, Jamaican food. Yes, the island nation, known for having fantastic beaches and wonderful music, also hosts delicious food. Jamaican cuisine is composed of a variety of culinary traditions from a number of different countries, including France, Spain, Great Britain, and Africa, just to name a few. So there's bound to be at least one dish that you'll truly enjoy. Over, the, over my lifetime, I have had the pleasure of meeting people from a number of different cultures. And I have shared meals with them at their homes and have received recipes from them about their favorite dishes. And this has resulted in me developing a naturally culinary curious palate. I would sit in my room and just watch TV and look out the window and think, you know, hey, I, I want to go out, but I don't know which direction to go, where to start. I don't know what bus to take. Didn't really want to take the bus. I was scared. Would never try to go attempt to learn how to use my stove. I just let my grandma do all the cooking because she was a good cook, still is a good cook. <laughs> but on June 1st, 2016, my life changed for the better. You know, since I've been here, I've learned how to prepare meals for a group of people, come up with an actual grocery list, know the prices, learn the prices, know how to shop for it. I've learned how to finally catch the bus, <laughs> do route research, travel on my own, actually make it to places with people. So I don't have to always be the one that's like, oh, I can't come. To learn more about the Colorado Center for the Blind, visit our website at www.cocenter.org or call 303-778-1130.